So, you want to see how I take down my braids uh, process? Then stay tuned for this video. It's just after look. After the curls have been combed out. But yes, on the next day, getting ready for school, I combed it out. And this is how it's looking. But it was more before this. But it's natural, beautiful, and long and thick. And this is how I'm wearing it to school today. So stay tuned for today's video. And let's get started. But before we go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description box below and on the screen. And turn on post notification on because what is you doing if you don't have them on? Like, not watching my videos, okay? Natural. So this is what my hair is looking like. Half up, half down look. But to, if you zoom, go in closer, I have edges. Or edges coming out, kitchens out back here. Okay, it's fuzzy, and I'm about to take it out. But this is how I did it for my first day, for second semester. That video will be coming out soon. Just stay tuned for that. But these braids. Have, have done his job and it's time for them to come out so it's really not late but it's nighttime 10 30 this is when i usually go to bed but i'm up here taking my hair out for tomorrow so i won't have to do it in the morning but what i have is my bag so i can put my beads back in there a scrunchie so i can tie up my hair I have this comb, take my braids out, and this for afterwards. But it's real simple. Just gotta take these braids out, comb it through, twist it up, and I'm going to sleep. And we're gonna see what it looks like in the morning. But let me just get this the bottom row out. And we can get started on this hair. Wait, no. Get a little scrunchie. The front's already tied up because the front just really looking bad. I'm getting tired of it being in my face. So, we're going to take the bees off first. All the bees off. This is small. This is the most part y'all think I'm going rough. I'm probably in pulling my hair out. As I'm doing this. But I'm going to stand up for this video. Because I don't feel like sitting down. just want to get this over with. But I said. Might as well just go ahead and film a video. Taking my braids out. Or what not. First part. See. Unimportant. You never do your hair like this, but natural hair people understand. You're trying to get your hair done, so you be a little rough sometimes, but I'm just trying to softly pull the bottom of my braid so the rubber band and the bottom bead can come out. Like... I know this is going to take me a little while, but not too long, though. Probably get in bed before 12 o'clock. Even though I might be a little tired in the morning, it was worth it. It was very worth it. Shoot, just can't get my freaking bees out. Just tossing these rubber bands in and everywhere at this point. And I'm not going to oil my hair. Because. Um, I just oiled it today. 
to the Disney oil. Probably oil in the morning before I go out. Yeah. That type of face you don't want. But try not, not to bring so much tension onto my hair either. Make sure I get these rubber bands off because sometimes beads come off and not the rubber bands. But I know this hairstyle. Every time I do braids like this, it never well I don't I don't want it to give like that braid out look after I take them out. I want to give that stretch look. Like I just blow dried it or something. So yeah, that's the look it's giving. But the other type of braids I do, most of the time they come out with that braid out look. As I'm doing this, I'm watching YouTube on my TV. I'm watching YouTube on my TV. Okay, so the back beads are all. That's how they're looking. Now I'm gonna take this little wrap off up here. And this this part has really caused some tension today because I've been bending down and stuff. And they've been swaying in the front of my head and like who we they feel good taking down. But this one was already taken down because I was trying something and I didn't feel like putting the bee back on the bees back on, so I just left it all. This is the quickest part of the process. Longest part is taking the actual braids out because they're so thin at the bottom. Not thin, but small. Y'all can see the small, the small braids. All the little bands will end up in the trash, but I'm trying to clean up as I go, so I don't. Have a mess to clean up later. Later. So let me finish taking these bees off. So I need to turn my bees all off and starting to untake them, unbraid them, or loose. But I have a mirror right here that I'm looking at because I really have to focus when I'm taking braids off. And make sure you take your time because you can always miss a loop or braid. And get your hair knotted. And not trying to do that. So just take your time by poking the comb in and just unraveling it. And when you get to the top, you can start using your finger like I've been trying to do. I know that's not enough. But I hate using the comb. My fingers do much a better job. But y'all can see very, very, very delicate hair piece of hair. We're not trying to put more pressure on my scalp. It's taking me a while to even get one braid done. And I'm talking about it's like at the top. At the top, honey, it's like there's the first unravel. It's looking good, but we're going to stretch it out. here don't play about me and my curls but the curls are there but they're not looking good like this top portion is but the back portion was not but it's gonna be okay we're gonna see the final look then we're gonna come down but i'm done down the back of my head just got the front to do and it's already going 11.30.
past 11 o'clock. So I've been doing my hair already for 30 minutes, you can say. There's not really a lot left. Just taking them down by section. Little by little. So it won't be all that overwhelming. And now I can start taking them down with my fingers. Instead of using that comb. Yep, don't you see them curl on top they're popping on the bottom they just look distressed. Distressed. Okay. <laughs> natural all beautiful black gorgeous okay here my curls after my total nine a little braid out or whatever this side really kind of needs to be more stretched or something we can see this has more volume but i don't know now stop taking them out that i'm coming through I'm probably going to wait till morning to see how I take it out of my scarf. But for right now, I plan to keep it like this and wear it like this tomorrow. But all difference comes tomorrow in the morning after I wrap my hair up. So I don't know how I'm going to do this so it can last. But I need to do some type of way to stretch or something as I sleep tonight and i haven't figured that out like a best way to preserve my hair but what we're gonna do we're just gonna stretch it on down and roll the ends up with just a tad bit we're gonna get this side as well get a little scrunchy tie it on up have this bad boy on back and then i got one more the back to do. Got a little, little scarf on my head. Hope this turns out right because it really was looking good. Curls good even though it was a little more stretched out than I wanted to. The curls are showing really not a braid out like that. But before we go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for all my social media in the description box below and on the screen. And turn on post notifications on because what is you doing if you don't have on my not watching my videos, okay? And I'll see y'all on my next video.